ASMR Nuzlocke Challenge. It's been a fair while since I uh, completed my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge, and it's been forever since I played Pokemon um, Diamond or Pearl or Platinum. So I figured we'd. Uh, we'd do our next Nuzlocke in Platinum. So if you're not familiar with a Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge, there are a few simple rules that we will be playing by. Our first rule is, if any Pokemon faints, it is considered dead, and we cannot use it in the playthrough anymore. Our second rule is, we can only catch the first encounter in each new area, so that's typically a route, or a cave, or a town, or something like that. Our third rule is, um, we have to nickname every Pokemon that we get to form a stronger bond with it, so that the idea is I get more upset when it dies. Um, and a sub rule of that is, if you guys want to leave comments um, on each video for a name that you might like to see a Pokemon nicknamed in this series, feel free to leave a comment and um, in the next episode, the next time I'll catch a Pokemon, I'll go back and have a look at comments and maybe I'll pick your name to nickname my Pokemon in the series. So that'll be fun. Um, and the fourth rule is that if I encounter a Pokemon that I already have, or have had, or I have the evolution of that Pokemon, I can re-encounter. So I get um, a bit of a variety of Pokemon. But with the rules out of the way, let's begin our adventure in Sinnoh, I think. So, let's begin. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. We don't need any info, thank you. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball if you'd please. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I will be a boy. Alright, so you're a boy. Yeah. Tell me what is your name? Alright. So we'll go. I was going to go evergreen, but I can't. Um, let's just go green. Your name is green. Yeah. Okay, so you're green. A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Alright, we're going to name this fella. Mitch. Because he seems like a Mitch. Mitch, is it? That's your friend's name. Yeah, I wouldn't call him a friend, but anyway. Alright, green, the time 
has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet with countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on. Leap into the world of Pokemon. So this is a randomized playthrough, which means um, all the Pokemon and items are randomized. Pokemon are by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. So our starters and all encounters are randomized, and um, all trainers Pokemon are randomized, but I didn't do anything silly like um, like randomizing move sets or evolutions or anything like that. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jupiter Life TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh right, right. We're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Green, if you're late, I'm finding you $10 million. Yeah, good luck getting me to pay that, sir. Alrighty. Green, Mitch already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. I'm actually really excited to see what our starters are. Oh yes, Green. Don't go into the tall grass, wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. We have a lovely Twin Leaf Town. We're gonna head up to Mitch's house. Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Green. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Oh jeez, forgot something. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh hey Green, I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. I don't understand why they made me do all this, like, going into his room and stuff. Seems like I could've just walked straight out onto the road and met him there, you know. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass. So what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gem Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey Green, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? You do. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Of course. Me too. I love Pokemon too. I will ask.
ask you once again, you do, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times, the answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times, we love Pokemon. Right, Green? Of course. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly tried to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I... Well then, forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you? Very well then, I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologise for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Now, where? Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Dawn, nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon I had to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place, right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Ooh, okay, it's time. Really, Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey Green, you can choose first. I'm practically a grown-up, but I have to show some class here. Okay, here we go. It might show the default starter still, but we'll see. Look, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Bouquet Pokemon Roserade. Compass Pokemon Probo Pass. Or Meteorite Pokemon Lunatone. Will I take this Pokemon? No. So. is probably the go-to because if I pick Lunatone it actually gets a grass type but it's grass poison I think um, I'm hesitant to take Probo Pass though because I feel like at low levels it probably won't learn anything good for a while He gets Lunatone. I guess we'll go Probo Pass. Then I choose you. I'm picking this one. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now, listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in San Gem Town. And now we'll be on our way. Professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. Okay, so we got a Probe Pass, and Mitch got a uh, Lunatone. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Green, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do right. Are you up for this? Yes. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Green, I challenge you to a battle. Alright, let's see uh, what moves Probo Pass has. Hopefully something usable. Magnet bomb. I mean, I guess magnet bomb because that'd be super effective, right? Steel versus rock. Hmm. 
So, um, Burma Pass is a pretty strong start, I think. Cool. Whew, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. So you agree. So now, Nuzlocke doesn't officially start until we receive Pokeballs. And from then on, if our Pokemon faint, we lose. If we miss our first encounter, we don't get another one. What's the matter, dear? Well, what's happened to you? Oh, that's happened to you. You and Mitch are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Green, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in San Gem Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, green, but these aren't. Get some running shoes. Going to San Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Well, isn't that just nifty? Okay, so running shoes should be this button.
survey says. Ugh. Sunflora. Well, glad we don't have Pokeballs. Let's just Magnum Vomit. Get that all like a 13 experience or whatever. So, a mistake I made um, in our last Nuzlocke was I put, when I randomized it, I made Pokemon have similar strength to what they would have in the normal game, which led to the early game having basically nothing but magic up and bugs and stuff. So, that's currently turned off. We've gone completely random Pokemon across the board. So, we could end up with some um, super unfair battles for either my opponent or myself, but hopefully that just makes things interesting. See, I wouldn't have minded a Scyther as my encounter. See, my face just dropped there, I felt it drop. Not that it really matters, because, um, again, Nuzlocke rules haven't started yet. I have no idea what Brooklyn Pass's, like, moveset is, though. He's a level up set. Okay. Let's skip along here. I don't think this person's a trainer. Is this person a trainer? Uh, that's what I thought. Free potion. Thank you. Is this a trainer or is it just a dude that tells me how to jump down? Yeah, just tells me how to jump down. There's Dawn. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. Thud. What the? Oh, it's you, Green. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Green. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Well, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Well, well, look who's here. Green, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, you've already made your Pokemon evolve. Trusting you with that bird pass was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah, here we go, thank you. Alright. Now. I mean, there's really only one nickname we can give it, right? So, I'll name my starter. And, um, if I manage to get a Pokemon in this episode, I'll probably name those ones too. Uh, that one too. I'm happy with that nickname, for sure. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass with our Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Brett Ripass, that's Mario, thank you, feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Brett Ripass of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Take me out. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Hmm. Good answer. And we get the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. 
When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Green, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimcha. If you would have chosen a Chimcha on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but... Anyway, I'm Dawn. I also helped the Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Green. Alrighty. So, we don't have Pokeballs, I don't think. Green. Oh, this might be the catching tutorial. I have something good here. You should take this as well. TM27, immediately. That is a technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using a TM teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh well, I didn't know the professor had TMs. <laughs> Bit jealous, she never gave me a TM. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Green, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer, and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Um, so it looks like we might not have time to go and get some encounters in this episode. This building with a red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Green, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Green. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Ron with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, he'll have your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. So can I just go buy balls or do I not have money? She didn't give me any balls. I think I can buy some now. Wrong button. So if you guys want to leave some comments with um, with like one Pokemon name that you might like to see in an upcoming episode, um, I'll flick back in future episodes and see if there's any names and match a Pokemon that I've caught. And that way, I just feel like you guys can get a little bit more involved with the adventure. Uh, but we might go get this cutscene over and done with, so next episode we can just head off on our adventure. Welcome home, Green. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? It's so late right now. Take a quick rest, dear. What is it, Green? Well, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear. Go for it. Your mum's got your back. Oh, I know, Green. I've got something you will find useful. The journal. That's a journal that keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, green. 
I'll be alright by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you are exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Excuse me, is my little Mitch here? Oh, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. You're so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Green will deliver that to him. Pretty Green. Oh really, you'd do that for me? Green, please take this to Mitch for me. We get the parcel. Bye bye Green, enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jupiter Life City. Okay, please take that to my Mitch. Okay, you know what, a special treat. Let's get one encounter. So, our encounter for Route 201 is... I healed, right? Yeah, I healed. Not even mad, I actually really like Mr. Mime. I 
was like, so this is the generation where the physical spe special split happened. And I was hoping that I had enough special defense to tank a water gun. Um, if we could get another tackle into it, that'd be good. I'd be pretty happy to start attacking it after a tackle. Yeah. Let's go. Um, Pokeball. Siege was pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it. between um, losing Mario and capturing this siege, although we're just going to run. Try another ball. Okay, I reckon we can go for one more tackle. first now. Hopefully it goes for a leader or a smoke screen or something here. Okay, cool. Means we might not hit it with a tackle, but it's fine. Bubble should only do six. Okay, it did two that time for some reason. Low roll, I guess. Yep. Figures. on all them potions and pokeballs. Alright. So with that, anyway, that's our introduction episode for our Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke completed. I hope you guys are looking forward to this series, and trust me, it will not take me years to complete this one. I'm very excited to uh, be playing this game. So I'd like to thank you for joining me for the start of an exciting new series. I hope you stick around leave some comments for Pokemon names that you want to see, and I hope to see you in the next episode.